Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my sim airport. Let's play now. I've noticed ticketing has severely slowed down. In fact, the whole simulation has slowed right down. I think it's because of the number of people that are coming into our airport now with so many gates that we've got. We, I think we pretty much doubled, if not more than doubled, the number of gates. And ticketing is becoming a nightmare. I thought more people would use these baggage areas. They all want the ticket machines. That's not what I was going to do this episode, but we need to fix it. So, ticket kiosk. Let's put a whole nother section in down here. So we're going to nearly, probably double ticketing. From the, tier, uh, from the kiosk perspective anyway. I'm going to put a whole new load in it. Now, of course, this rule will require the workmen to actually, first of all, do some work because they never do any work. They're terrible, the workmen. And if we put some machines back to back here as well, that. I hate it when the tooltips get in the way. There we go. That will help. And I think we've actually got room to put some here. There we go. Brilliant. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. There are a lot of people waiting at the vending machines. Basically, the throughput of passengers has just increased phenomenal. I mean, look at them all. Crowding around vending machines. What? Why are you all crowding around a vending machine? And going through security seems to be... Well, it seems to be busy, but it's also coping, I think. It's a bit difficult to tell. The rail platforms are chock-a-block. We're going to have to get more trains to come off them. Um, now, uh -huh. I was on Twitter recently, and um, the developers of Sim Airport were putting some notes out about some tips. And one of the tips was, oh, if you press this button, you can build the thing that you got your mouse over. And I was like, what? I want that feature. Right? That's the feature that I asked for. But it doesn't happen in my game. I was like, why? So I looked at the key bindings and it wasn't set. I was like, oh, must have come in at some point. I'll reset my key bindings to default. Reset them to default and it was still not bound. But I was able to manually bind it. So now, when I click, uh, hold over something and do Q, I can now put in the same thing. So Q and there, vendors. We've doubled up the vending. We'll also put some down here. Why not? Uh, rotate that in there. Can I do it again? There, no. There we go, there's the vending machine. This is the wrong vending machine? That's the wrong vending machine. So I think you have to cancel and before you can use Q again, but even still, that's a powerful, powerful tool that we haven't previously had access to. So let's put that in there. Uh, what drinks machine is that? Uh, oh, not sure. Uh, I have no idea what, what one to put in. It looks like looks like that one. So we're going to do this one. There we go. Extra ones in all over the place. Um, it does anywhere where it things seem busy. I'm going to just put everything in again. Get out. There we go. Brilliant. So in come the extra ticketing kiosks. That should alleviate that problem. We're putting extra stuff in there. The shop's fine. The shops are fine. The calf, the calf's fine. The arcade, the arcade's fine. Toilets are all fine. Upstairs, seating and passengers and everything, they're all moving around. The first class lounge has got one guy in it. Fantastic. Look, everything's brilliant up here. I think it's possibly because we've got thousands of people waiting to come through security but that that's not a problem on to today so today i was going to have a dabble at electrical in addition to trying to fix everything else so what goes in an electrical room well as far as i'm concerned uh it's utility stuff for pas and that is it utility it's not utility so what am i talking about objects let's do objects um and then we want a pa System PA 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 flight info 
ID check stand, one way, one way path. Passengers are navigating through the airport. There we are. Um, PA speaker, two way. Um, and what it says is it's a public address system, provide announcements, boarding calls, and last minute information. Helps prevent missed flights uh, through. Uh, um, though may annoy the packs a bit too. It's bi directional speakers to bro uh, broadcast. Um, two cones of sound in opposite directions. So it goes that way. So, uh, indoors only. Connects to a. Doesn't say by the direction lab. So we've got the PA amplifier and the PA amplifier HD. So first things first, let's put the PA amplifier HD in the middle of the electrical room. And then let's hook up some announcements around ticket. Well, all, the, all the people have gone. I solved my ticketing problems. Just flood it with booths. So this is a bi-directional PA jobby. So if we put one... Uh, let's put... Ah, I know. We'll put one there. One there. And we'll, keep, we'll get a bit of a pattern going. We've got one there and there. And there's a gap of three. Well, I kind of just want one here, but I don't want it to, to smash things up too much. So let's just do... Let's put an extra one behind that tree there and there. Okay, so that's the ticketing zone. We're going to use the ticketing zone as the kind of... What's the word? Test subjects? That'll do. So the PA Amplifier HD is a public uh, address system. Okay. Provide announcements, boarding calls. Oh, I, I read that, didn't I? Yes. Okay, so the bit that I didn't read. Indoors only, must be placed in an electrical zone, connects up to 10 gates and connects up to 10 speakers. Right. We've got a lot of gates. So does that mean that I can only put speaker information out? Like, if I've got more than 10 gates, do I have to have one speaker there for one set of 10 gates and another speaker there for another set of 10 gates? Or is it cross system? Yeah, I'm putting another one in. Now let's let's not put them right next to each other. That's just that's a silly idea. Um, let's put a, a gap of three between them. And I don't know how many speakers we got. Six speakers currently in ticketing. So if we can have ten, let's also put two-way there and there that's eight that's eight and then what we'll do is we'll put some here as well there and so what's that it's about two beyond trees I'm trying to get it roughly in the same place I mean they're small items it's not like they're rooms or air escalators and, and shops and stuff you, you don't see the odd square out on speaker placement at least I tend not to anyway Baggage claim is busy, but holding. Food vending, ma uh, vending machines are definitely getting better now that there's plenty. Uh, we can just about handle the number of people trying to get through the escalators. And security actually looks like it's getting lower. So that's good. Okay, uh, I can see a number of workmen coming in. They appear to be bringing a few different things. Oh, they come through this door here. I forgot about this staff door. This is the secret staff door that lets workmen bring things into the building. So it looks like they're fitting the speaker system, the speakers as they are anyway. Here's the first one to be put in. Let's see what it... Well, I, you can see the ghost of what it will look like. Um, I don't know what else goes in an electrical room apart from PA systems. I think that's it. Um, but I'm now one... I don't know. I don't know how the the gates the ratio between gates and speakers work like I say do I need a rack of speakers and then I can have one speaker for each gate I, I have no idea we will see how things work out uh, at 90% we're pretty much done refueling services we just got 49,000 th there it is must be assigned to a PA amplifier now what I'm going to assume is that the amplifiers are in connect interconnected um, so let's have a look. So our first amplifier is now also going in. So we'll just fast forward a little bit. Eep. 
Plop. So there it is, the amplifier is in. It must be assigned to a gate, so we can go connect to. Right. <laughs> Let's assign it to all of these two-way speakers first. Now, the other, the other two-way speakers aren't in yet. Let's just do that. Oh, now we need to assign it to some gates. Let's assign it to... How many large gates have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That looks like it's 9 or 10. So let's assign... There we go. That one, that one, that one. All of, all of the really big ones. Because they're the ones that we have the most problems with. Uh, that one. There we go. Right, so we've got a number in there. Let's get down here again. Uh, we've got a couple more speakers that we can assign in. Now it says 16 assigned, but it doesn't say what is assigned. And there's no other options apart from close. Um, I don't know if there's any settings or anything. There's, there's runway information, maintenance information for gates and when the maintenance starts duration of maintenance window and so forth uh, transport capacity oh there you are, demand and departures only, demand on arrivals only estimated transit capacity wow estimated capacity is 275 and we've been doing 668 <laughs> oops uh, weather forecast, we don't care about that ok, no, nothing in it, nothing of interest Right, we've got we've got um, sixteen assigned. Um, I feel like we're missing something. Oh yes, that that speaker. And we go, brilliant. Now, I don't know the oops, I don't that close. I don't know the effective area of one of these PA speakers I don't there might be just like three squares round it which works or it might cover an entire massive zone uh, is there an overlay heat and information map well the inf uh, the the information heat map is is ah right we've got information boards upstairs but we're gonna need a lot more information downstairs there is very little information in fact the RK has got the most information in it Environment heat map. Yep, garbage zone. Obviously, very bad. Passengers at the platforms. That's bad. Toilets not great. But overall, things are pretty good. A PA speak. Ah! Ah! Ha, 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 ha. So the PA speakers do have a heat map. Okay, so the ticketing area line. What on earth is that? Must be assigned to an amplifier. Must have missed it. Okay. So my placement has actually been quite good. So people generally are well covered in these areas. Yeah, I did all right there. Let's have a look at security. Yep, that's all secure. Sector. Yeah, whatever. Pax decisions. I have no idea what's going on about that. Pax. F oh my goodness! Look at this. This is the Pax flow. And staff deployments. We've got staff deployed all over the place. Okay. So the PA system was fine then. But now I'm wondering... Like, I mean, for a start... We need to assign it to that. So it still says 19. And I think it's... Uh, can, I, can I assign it to the other PA system as well? No. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, let's try assign, assign. Ah, ha, ha, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. You can connect it to the same speakers, probably. Is that six, seven, eight? And then how many we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Yeah, that'll do. Right, okay. So we've got some gates assigned to the second amplifier. Now if we connect it to... Ah, 
it won't let me connect it to a PA speaker that has already been connected by the looks of it. So if I unassign that one, close this, come back to that one and connect, it allows me to assign to that one. Nuts! Right then, I've had a look into this. At the moment, there is no way to either group speakers or link amplifiers or cross patch things or link multiple um, uh, amplifiers to single speakers. All of these things are technically possible in real life given the correct equipment. However, all we have in Simmanport at the moment are speakers and amplifiers, and the amplifiers are connected to the gates and the speakers as I previously described. Which means, because we've got more than 20 gates, we would need three speakers next to each other to cover all of the gates. So let's just quickly work that out. So we're going to get that one, that's one set, that's for another set. We're going to move that round here. We'll have another one of these. I can hold Q to get one because we know how that key works now. And we'll put that one here. Right, that's going to get put in there. We're going to ignore all these ones down here. We're going to um, so we're going to say connect to unassign. We're going to get rid of all these ones and probably come back to these at some point. There we go. Let's unassign all these. There we are. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to unassign them all from the gates and we'll get this other one plumbed in and I'll show you how it's going to have to work. Okay, so it's been a little while. So much so that it's now the next day. I'm dressed, ready to go on my bike to go to work. The baby is having some breakfast and I've now got three PA systems all assigned to various gates. So, if we just close this... Zoom in a little bit. Uh, we can see that this PA has got a load of gates. This PA has got a load of gates. And this PA has got a load of gates. And this is the only way I could figure out how it works. Because at the minute, to have three PA systems in the same area, you're going to need three speakers. So this PA system needs to be connected to one of these three speakers. But only one of them. So I have to zoom in, get that then get this one, zoom in, there we are, that one as well and then you have to do that in every place that you have the PA, si um, the, not PA system, the speakers it's a little bit of a nightmare and to be honest, I, it's something that I've looked into online and the devs even say that this needs fixing and sorting before the games come out so before the game gets released, I'm sure that this system that I'm doing now is going to have an upgrade. There we are. I've gone and assigned all them. I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got some upstairs? Yeah, we've got some upstairs. What I decided to do is try putting some near some of the gates as well. So we've got some PA speakers behind some of these monitors. So I'm hoping that covers those two. And I'm hoping these ones over here cover those two because they're bi directional. In fact, if we look here, you can see that it covers a bit of it. Oh, we've got some in the lounge forgot about the language. Let's turn that off. How do I turn? There we go. Let's go in here. So we've got to have three massive speakers next to each other. Now I need to connect up the other three, uh, the other two PA speakers to all of those items. Right then. So I now, once I've put this last one in, have ten sets of speakers. Not ten speakers, ten sets of three. And so I've got 30 speakers, two P uh, three sorry PA amplifiers. Let's go down and have a look at them. So we've got the three PA amplifiers in the electrical room. We've got three sets of speakers there in the store. We've got three sets of speakers there in the store, etc., etc. And if you look at the speaker coverage, it's not great. Ignore the one in the ticketing area. I've abandoned that. Over here, the store is largely covered, especially the racks and the tills. So that's really good. If anybody's in the store and there's an announcement, they're going to hear that. Um, the, the calf is largely covered as well. Um, that is assuming that all of the people, that, that 
each of those cone effects are for all of the gates, which they pretty much on most are. Um, so most of the calf there is covered as well. A good middle section of the arcade's covered, really not enough. I probably could have done with some down here and some down there. I've actually got one that's not connected. So I just need to nip in. See, this is now the bigger problem. I've got one speaker that's not connected there, but now I need to figure out which one is the one that needs to be connected. So I have to cycle through, look at which ones are on that amp, find the one that isn't, then do the connect to, and assign it. This system definitely needs an overhaul. It's a good start. I mean, it's a nice idea. Um, I, I really do think that the cones, like the, the zone for the PA system, is a lot smaller than it should be, especially considering the limited number of slots you can have on the PA system. And on top of that, um, this is the HD PA system. The other one is only four. So if we go upstairs, now it's down. There we go. You can see that the middle of the first class lounge is covered. Either end isn't. Again, I probably need another speaker there. And you can see that only part of the gate is really covered there. You'd need one either side of each seating area. So I would need one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. So let's have a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I think there. Uh, another twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Probably okay. Just to cover upstairs and fill in the gaps of what we've got down here, it'd be an additional twenty-eight speakers, and that's not twenty-eight. That's twenty-eight sets. So you'd need three times that. You're looking at around seven, no, around 80 speakers. That's a lot of wiring, and for all that, you're gonna need a lot of PA systems for all these gates. Like I said, this system needs redoing, but we're gonna leave the PA system there for now. We've done it. It's all done and sorted, and it's in, it's working. It may not be the best system, but it's there. We're going to leave it at that, and next episode we're going to start our big expansion over here. Oh, I say, it's okay. It's a medium expansion. It's going to go up here, and it's going to be having some um, extra gates up there um, for um, supplies in case other gates are taken. I cut standby gates. We're going to put standby gates in. We're going to do a tunnel underneath to a new foundation. It's going to be fantastic. But join me next time. That is all for now. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Master Hellish. Check me out on YouTube, of course, and Facebook, Twitter, Blogger, Reddit, all of those things, as well as masterhellish.net. I will see you soon. Goodbye.